Hi guys, welcome back to Hummingbird Acres. We have been enjoying our week down here in Virginia. And today we are actually going to tackle a pretty big project here on the homestead. So we want a big pollinator garden here and we're gonna get a head start by laying down some black landscaping mesh to prep the soil and get our area all ready to go so we are ready to plant either in the fall or in the spring. If you wanna know more about planting and landscaping mesh, I'm gonna leave a link below for you. We have a whole article on it on our website. But I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do and then we're gonna get started. All right, this is, this is like the upper part of this pollinator garden. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be all down here, all up here. But what we're gonna do is start with the landscaping mesh. And what I'm thinking is we're gonna start up there, probably right around the tree and come down along the driveway. I do wanna leave like a little bit of space on the driveway just because I think we need some drainage. And we have a couple of these big rocks. So I'm thinking we're gonna run it down. We're gonna run it as far down as we can go. I don't know how many passes we're gonna be able to get, but this garden is also going to be something that's a work in progress. We'll add to it every year. It's not something I'm planning on building out one year. So that's a plan right now. This might change as we go, but we will see. Oh yeah, but it's gonna be fun. All right, that was wow. anticlimactic. Not what we had thought, but it's gonna work. That was, underwhelming. that was underwhelming. But Marisol, I need you to stand on it, please. Man, Marisol, stand on it. Now you're gonna stand on it and not move, okay? Good job. Give me, uh, Karen, can you get the, the Come on. Hold it, Marisol. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> OMG. Oh, yeah, you guys are like, Hey, we have fun. I'm kind of botch that one. We have fun with it. <laughs> Cause we could yeah, put it down. If we keep it along the ridge, we can get, I can get a, we can get a pollinator that's a, a ground cover almost. And that can cover the hill. And we could put some stairs in the middle up into the garden. And then a ground cover that will cover that hill. I actually saw an article last night about pollinator ground covers. So that you could look up, we can look up that later.
Okay guys, we got four runs of the fabric down. We probably have enough room to do, I think we're gonna do two more big ones and then maybe one or two short ones. And then I might have to order more, which we're okay with, we know that's gonna happen. Jamie did the math on this. And if I wanna do cone flowers down that edge, um, cone flowers need to be one to three feet apart. So if we go two feet apart, I need 45 cone flowers. I do not have that many. So he gave me permission to start propagating more once we get back to Maryland. So super excited about that. Um, I'll be sharing more about this garden and our plans for this garden as we develop it more. I will be sharing more about this garden, our plans for this garden, and what we're thinking about in upcoming videos. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload another video. If you wanna know more about pollinators and what you can do to help pollinators, head on over to our website. That link below is below for you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us at the farmhouse today and we will talk to you soon.